This episode of New Jersey Living is being recorded in Linden, New Jersey. We're right here in front of the Linwood Tap House. Uh, you can see Linwood Inn right here behind me. Just flash up a couple pics. Uh, this particular location is known as a great spot to catch a game. If I'm going to flash a few photos of the interior, you'll get to see that uh, there are TVs everywhere. And a very clean establishment. Pizza was good. Uh, the burgers are supposed to be really good too. I'm not a beer drinker, but they have a variety of tap available inside. And uh, this is a well-known place right here in Linden. Not that everybody locally comes here necessarily. A lot of people may look this up on Yelp or something like that uh, and drop in if they're in the area. Very busy corner as we're on the corner of Wood Ave and Linden Ave as I pan around a little bit. Train station is directly across the street and that is our next stop as we get into our true uh, intro scene. So we're gonna get into, like all of our other episodes, the Linden real estate market, what has sold recently over the past 30 days. Linden is another one of those locations in Union County very much in close proximity to some places that we've already been, like Union, Carteret, uh, Rahway. These are all neighboring locations to where we are right now. So I'm gonna jump across the street to the train station and we will continue our intro from there. I'll see you there. Welcome to New Jersey Living. My name is Corey Jones and I'm a real estate agent with Caldwell Banker and I do business here in New Jersey. Part of my business is bringing content like this to viewers like you. So if you're looking to learn all things New Jersey, obviously the real estate market, places to dine, iconic locations, social entertainment scenes, this is where you want to be. So go ahead and if you're not a member of the Jersey Hunter crew, already part of this channel, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and notification bell to stay updated on information that we provide on a weekly basis. So I want to make sure that everybody definitely has the opportunity to experience our goal and ambition, which is to provide Gold Star content that reflects our Gold Star ratings. All right, so here we are uh, in Linden, what we are looking to do is to give an overview of this market. If ever you uh, have any questions or are looking for some specific real estate needs of your own, my contact information is right here in the details, email, cell phone. Uh, you can always drop a comment here as well. I welcome uh, all who are looking to either contribute, participate, ask questions, just keep it positive. Um, so here we are in front of the train station, as you probably can make out right here. You see the train line right here behind me. The station itself right here is not a true station where you know, you're know you finding people inside, not at this moment anyway. Um, but this is very much the main thoroughfare flowing through um, Linden. And then along this stretch is a lot of retail restaurants. We were just at the Linwood Inn. Uh, tap house which uh, I gives a thumbs up does get the approval uh, and we are going to very quickly dive into what I call the big three so if you've been watching the channel you know I give three check marks to reflect or not always check marks three indicators that uh, show if a given location is high demand or if it's kind of a moderate demand Linden let's start with the first one which is proximity Proximity wise, flash up the map, it is very much in close proximity to New York. Uh, this lies right along the Arthur Kill Roadway. Staten Island is directly to the east of where we are. Um, so we are very, very uh, much in, in close proximity to New York. 35, 40, maybe 45 minute drive to get to um, the Lincoln or Holland, depending on what traffic looks like. Uh, so check mark there. Four train station, which is another indicator. Obviously, check mark is right here behind me. And school ratings is the third. And I'm a flash up niche.com. I stay away from my own subjective opinions when it comes to schools. And you can see C plus. I reserve a check mark for those districts that are A plus 
A or A minus on niche.com. So we'll not get a check for schools. So there's two out of three. So not the highest demand uh, of locations, but as we're gonna see, there are some quality neighborhoods here in town. Uh, where we are closer to the train station along the train line in town, there is a lot of industrial area right along the train line. Um, and so some neighborhoods are just outside of that. But then as we travel a little further west, as we get uh, closer to uh, some neighboring suburbs, you see a different kind of feel for different neighborhoods. So we're gonna take a look at four properties today that all are recent sales within the past 30 days. And you'll get a little bit of that flavor of lending. And maybe it's something that you want to consider as an option, or if you are currently residing in Linden and you just want to get a feel for the market. Maybe you've been contemplating, uh, should I sell now? Rates are high. What is the market like? We'll get into that as well. So let's get this journey started. Enjoy some road footage. I'll see you at the first stop. Well, here we are at our first stop. We're at 53 Elmwood. And behind me is a property, as you can see, brick front. Many of these homes, I'm gonna pan around. So you see the other homes in the community. Many of them are brick ranches, some capes, and a few splits. You can see there is a project underway right here, a few doors down, that's adding a second level to what probably was a cape, my guess, from the look of it, uh, similar to this one. So this was three bedroom, one bath. List price was $439. There was a highest and best on this. It was only on the market for 13 days. Highest and best on this one sold at $490. So the price point was right for the neighborhood where we are. We're on the western side of Linden, so we're a little closer to uh, Roselle. So we are in an area that's not as industrial as if we were by the train station in that area all right so this just goes to show again like i've been saying all along this is a market where if you do have a well-maintained property uh in a location that is desirable and this is not a three check mark uh highest demand location by any means but it's a nice community uh the home itself well maintained it's not talking about a new upgrade or um something that was newly renovated or anything like that um, but a relatively quiet area minus the construction work a few doors down um, nice quiet street all right so this is stop one get a little more road footage here and we're off to a few blocks away from here for our next preview I'll see you there So here we are at 224 Livingston, and this is one of those examples where there is some negotiating room in this market for the right circumstances. This circumstance, the original list price here was 730,000, but as you can see, it is a cape. Um, price was reflected of the bedroom, bathroom ratio, five, five bedroom, three full baths. Price was dropped eventually to 699. Eventually, it sold at 632. But 53 days on the market. Uh, you can't really see too well from where I'm standing right now, but definitely there's a lot of like carpet and dust, older materials that have been taken out of the house. So there's certainly some upgrade that is happening right now, which again lends to um, the dynamic where you can negotiate a little bit more. So as I pan around the community here, you can see that there are some other capes, um, kind of a Tudor style cape right here beside them. Uh, nice quiet neighborhood still. Um, but again, when we're talking uh, about market demand, that demand is going to dictate ultimately where any given property is going to sell. And uh, a 700 plus cape here in Linden for above 700 just was not going to really um, you know, uh, likely be executed under these conditions uh, where it's not something that's like next level new renovated, right? So um, went ultimately 100,000 below the original list. So there are still some deals to be had under the right circumstances. 
So we're going to now shift to a different area. We've been in the same neighborhood for the first two uh, clips, and now we're going to take a look at a different, a little further south from where we are right now for our next two. I'll see you there. Here we are at stop number three. We're at 1402 Styles at North Styles Ave. I'm gonna pan around uh, a little bit so you get a look at the neighborhood here. As you probably can see and perceive, this is very much a, a major thoroughfare uh, through Linden uh, in this given neighborhood. So it's not a side quiet street the way we've seen in our previous uh, two properties. This one, no doubt, uh, is not occupied yet. You can see it's a little needs of some TLC with the uh, landscaping. But this was a scenario where again, we had a highest and best scenario. This is a split that has four beds, two and a half baths, originally listed at 495, which is a very good price considering the size of the property, being a four bedroom, two and a half bath, split level that generally equates to more square footage, all right, now for a property. So 495 is a pretty attractive price. And uh, the property definitely had multiple offers. There was a highest and best sold at 530. So not significantly over ask, but you know, kind of noticeably a strong offer uh, above the asking price. So this is a, a case where we didn't have, uh, you know, new and fancy, you know, renovations of any kind, which would have drawn the price up sure, a lot further. Um, but because of, as we mentioned a little earlier, bedroom and bath dynamic, even being on the main road, and I'll pan one more time, so you can see, it's just kind of right, like right at an intersection where you have a traffic light, which will always stop vehicles, as we see right here, in front of the house periodically, right? So um, not the most ideal of locations, but pretty good price when we compare this type of property to other locations where we've looked. All right, so uh, enjoy some more road footage. We're going to get to our final stop and run down the details there before we wrap up. I'll see you there. Final stop is 1114 Donna Court, and right here, pulled up to the property. Property just sold. We just came from one that needed some love on TLC with the landscaping, and here we have a young man has his own business, right? So I'm gonna give a quick clip of his setup, how he takes his uh, lawn equipment around, services Linden, services some of Clark, services some of Cranford. These are all some locations that he travels to, right? With this setup right here behind me. So I'm gonna flash up his contact info. You in any of those three communities, I'm gonna flash up his uh, name, contact info. Love to see young people who are enterprising, just looking for opportunities to build business and enterprise. I love this. So this particular property, list price was 579 lists, sold 605, right? So renovated property gives you an idea of what happens in the market when you have that this went in eight days eight days on market multiple offers all right so this is going to uh, conclude our Linden episode so I want to again encourage everyone to click like subscribe notification bell I'm gonna flash up again DJ's contact info if you have an opportunity to support a young enterprising businessman and if you're Linden your Clark your Cranford by all means, look up this young man right here. All right, so until the next time, we uh, will see a few more road footage scenes before we conclude here, but stay safe and see you next episode.